good girl. I have had the slowest morning. I got out of bed at 11. So our alarm went off at five this morning and we wanted to get up. We really did. Like our mindset, we were like, yes, let's get up. But our bodies were thinking something different. Our bodies are so sore, so tired from the last couple days of working out because the first day we did lower body and we went hard. The second day we did upper body, we went hard. So basically what I'm saying is this morning, our bodies just couldn't move. <laughs> We woke up and we're like, <laughs> we were struggling so much. So we just decided, we were like, you know what? Let's just have a rest day. Let's just let our bodies chill for a little bit. I think we are going to try to get in some yoga tonight just so that it's not like a, I don't know. Cause like the way we see it, we kind of feel like we gave up a little bit this morning. Like I feel like we could have gotten out of bed if we tried really hard, but we didn't. So I feel like we probably will get a workout in tonight, but we'll see because tonight is a late night. We'll probably be getting home around nine and then we have to edit and eat dinner and whatnot. So that's kind of a stretch, but we're going to try. Anyway, the reason that I was in bed until 11, it wasn't that I slept that late. I can, I can never sleep that late. That's so late. I don't know how people do that. I woke up at 7.30, but I just stayed in bed. I like would get out to grab breakfast, but then I would eat it in bed. I would get out to grab my computer, and then I edited some photos for a while. That's actually the main reason why I was in bed for so long, is because I was editing. And then I made a post and was just trying to be active on social media and stuff. So yeah, then comes around 11 and I was like, I should probably get up. But here's the thing, I don't get the opportunity to move slow very much and so when I do have that opportunity I take it and it felt great it did but I'm definitely ready to like get up and get going with my day so like I said this is this is my wardrobe for the rest of 2021 I'm gonna see if it works for me or if it doesn't yesterday it seemed to go pretty well that was like the first day of me um you know getting ready with just this wardrobe. It was pretty easy just because I just wore sweats yesterday because I was teaching dance. Um, I'm teaching again today, so it'll be sweats again. I think that's actually gonna be the hard part for me. I know I just said it was easy, but I think it's gonna be the hard part because I sweat a lot. And so that's why, that's one of the main reasons why I have a lot of sweats and sweatshirts is because I sweat so much when I teach because I always, keep the layers on. I never take them off. So then I'm just like a big sweaty mess by the end of the time that I'm teaching. But it's also because I just, I wanna look cool and we have more options. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. So I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna wear today. Let's see, I'm kind of feeling the orange pants. Um, hmm. Yeah, I could do the orange pants with the gray sweatshirt. Okay, let's get dressed. All right, I didn't go with the orange pants. I went with these. Oh, you can't see them. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Whew. All right, let's go make some lunch. Okay, okay, okay. It is 12 o'clock. I need to put some deodorant on. Okay, so I am trying out a recipe today on the Sunny app. I was telling you guys about this. I ended up getting it because I figured it really is not a bad price and I think it'll push me and Angel to uh, to cook more and to experiment more. I feel like this is like not, am I not in frame? Literally using my big toe to move this right now. Okay, anyway, um, so the one that we are doing, well, I guess me, because Angel's not here, it's called Simple Prawn and Chorizo Paella. Chorizo, I think is like a sausage. We're just using sausage, so I don't know. But this is what it looks like. My hand is shaking. I'm so sore. 
feel like the easiest way would probably just be to like get everything out and then go from there. We got impatient and we've already eaten most of the sausage, so there's like a tiny little chunk of sausage, but that's okay because it also calls for prawns. An onion, garlic, got the onion, got the garlic. I also grabbed a lemon because I know we need that. And I know we also need sugar snap peas. The chicken stock, and I don't remember seeing smoked paprika in here, but apparently we have it somewhere. I can't see anything. Short people problems. I need a chair. I can't see anything. Oh, okay. oh, much better. You know, I knew I shouldn't have listened. Oh, dang it. I shouldn't talk so fast. I was about to say I knew I shouldn't listen to him, but we do have it. <laughs> it says, prepare all ingredients by slicing, dicing, and mincing garlic. This makes the process of making paella much more efficient. Okay, so just all of it? Okay. Uh, this might sound dumb, but like, how? Is there a certain way that I should be doing this? I'll just start cutting and uh, see what happens. Okay, I always use the smallest knife because I'm scared of knives. I'm scared of cutting myself. I don't know how, like, how. Okay, let's just start with the pepper, which the pepper is looking very interesting right now. I'm never getting produce at Amazon Fresh ever again. Their produce sucks. The whole idea of their store is really awesome. It's super efficient, makes it so that I don't hate grocery shopping as much as I used to. But their produce is just so awful, like real bad. I'm assuming these need to be cut down into little chunks. I think everything has to be in little chunks. How much of a pepper? Oh, I think it says on here. Half of a large one. Okay, I don't know if this is large, but... Well, so far so good. I feel like things are working out put this on my plate. All right, that took a really long time. <laughs> I just minced two cloves of garlic with a knife because I don't have a mincer. And that was also the onion. Oh my gosh. Heat a generous drizzle of olive oil in a large cast iron pot. Um, okay, so I need a big pot. Like a big pot? Like a big, big pot. Okay, let me get the big pot. <laughs> I don't know what a generous amount of olive oil is. I don't like when they do stuff like that because I'm like, what? what is that? I don't know. Alright, time for the moment of truth. This took me an hour and a half to make, so if it tastes good, I'll do it again, but if it doesn't taste good, definitely not. <laughs> hmm, 
not what I was expecting, but it tastes good. It's different. And that's why I got this app because I want to taste different things other than the things that I make day after day after day. So it's good. It's just different than what I've tasted before. So I like it. it tastes healthy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, Angel is kind of making me nervous because I think he's still like 30 minutes away and he needs to be here in less than that to take me to work. So <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous, but he will also try it when he gets home or he'll have it for dinner tonight and uh, we'll see how he likes it. I feel like he'll like it. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to eat this. Yeah, I'm going to go eat this. <laughs> it was another long night of work, but it was the last day of work for the week because it's Thanksgiving break now. Ooh, ooh. Very excited about that. We have to leave. Well, we're going to try to leave early tomorrow morning, but it's already kind of a late night for us. So we'll see. Um, but Angel tried the paella. Is that what it's called? Or some that meal that I made earlier today. Not his favorite. He also agrees that it just has like a different taste to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, the more I ate it, the more I was like, I don't know if I like it. Because when I first tried it, I was like, oh, this is good. But then I kept eating it and I was like, actually, I don't know if it is good. So I don't know if I'll make it again. But there's so many recipes on that app. So I'm just going to try a bunch of different things and uh, we'll find our favorites. But I'm okay with not making that again because it took me an hour and a half. It was crazy long. But I'm proud of myself for making something a little bit more complex, a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog so that I can get some things done so that we are ready for tomorrow. All right, see you guys.